When it comes to protecting and nourishing our dry and brittle hair, hot oil treatments are one of the best ways to do so. There are so many options out there when it comes to getting a hot oil treatment. You can go to the salon or you can do it in the comfort of your home. I want to do it in the comfort of my home and save me a few bucks. So if you want to do that, keep watching to see how you can do your hot oil treatment right at home and save you a couple of dollars. All right. Hi, family. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in. If this is your first time here, welcome. So happy to have you. Please check out the channel. And if you like what you see on here, please do not exit this channel without subscribing. All right. We would love to have you here. Let's get started, y'all. To do the hot oil treatment, you can use one oil. You don't have to use so many oils like I'm doing here. I'm using so many oils because I have access to it. All right. So I'm using the grape seed oil, olive oil, castor oil, black seed oil, and coconut oil. I used two tablespoons of each oil. After combining all of the oils into the bowl, I'm going to set the bowl into a bowl of hot water to melt the coconut oil and to heat the oils at the same time. Putting the oil into the microwave, it is not an option family. Please do not put the oil into the microwave. You can set your oil into the bowl of hot water like I'm doing here, all right? If you have your oil into a bottle, a jar, a cup, in whatever container you have your oil in just make sure you set the oil into a bowl of hot water to heat up the oil all right and make sure to check the temperature of the oil before applying it on your hair or on your scalp you don't want to burn yourself all right family so i'm moving on to washing my daughter's hair another thing i will say whenever you are attempting to do a hot oil treatment please make sure you have a clean hair and scalp Okay, that way your hair can receive the full benefits of the hot oil treatment. Do not apply the oil on a dirty hair or scalp. Like what's the point? You are not going to get the benefit. Your hair is probably dirty. Your scalp probably have product built up. You want to clean it before doing the hot oil treatment. All right, family. So I'm going to wash my daughter's hair. After doing that, we are going to be applying the oil on her hair. Some of you may ask what are the benefits of doing a hot oil treatment? Doing a hot oil treatment helps to protect the hair and moisturize the hair. It strengthens the hair, it reduces dryness of the hair and the scalp. It helps to increase blood flow to the scalp. It reduces frizz. It also decreases split ends. So if you have all of these issues and you want to tackle that doing a hot oil treatment or if you include a hot oil treatment in your hair care routine, you are going to see increase in the strength of your hair. Your hair is going to be moisturized it's going to be softer it's going to be smoother you are going to see a decrease in split ends if that is something you are struggling with so doing a hot oil treatment is really good and the oil you are using comes with its own benefits all right so i'm using the black seed oil castor oil grape seed oil olive oil and coconut oil all of these oil have their own great benefits that they do offer to the hair for easy application i transferred the oil into a bottle so family that is the oil it is now time for application the olive oil in this hot oil treatment helps to condition the hair it strengthens the hair follicles it repairs damaged hair it keeps the hair manageable okay and olive oil also promotes a healthier hair growth the castor oil in this treatment moisturizes dry and irritated scalp. It nourishes and strengthens the hair strands. It protects the hair against breakage. It also contains antimicrobial properties that can fight off bacteria and fungal. Then we have the sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is very high in vitamin A, which is important for encouraging cell growth. Sweet almond oil is also rich in biotin. It softens and strengthens the hair. It hydrates dull and dry hair. Sweet almond oil will help to repair damaged hair and lock in moisture. Moving on to black seed oil that is present within this hot oil treatment. Black seed is one of the best natural ingredients for hair as it contains almost everything you need to nourish and maintain your hair. It is one of the best ingredients to treat hair fall. It stimulates hair growth. It conditions and softens the hair. It is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, which is known to boost circulation and aid in a healthy hair growth. 
We also have coconut oil in this hot oil treatment. Coconut oil helps to reduce protein loss. It provides luster, shine, and softness to the hair. It prevents breakage and split ends. It helps with hair loss. It repairs damaged hair. It retains moisture. A review in 2015 states that coconut oil absorbs into the hair shines better than mineral oil. Do you use coconut oil? If you don't, you can skip this part, okay? You don't have to add coconut oil to this hot oil treatment treatment if you are allergic to coconut oil. The last oil in this hot oil treatment is the grapeseed oil. Why is grapeseed oil great for the hair? Grapeseed oil promotes a healthy hair and scalp. It won't weigh the hair down. It helps to prevent premature grain. It strengthens the hair. It soothes the scalp. It protects the hair from UV damage. It tames fly weights. It smooths split ends. It is a powerful hydrator. Grapeseed oil has so many benefits for the hair and scalp, y'all. So family, I'm done with the application stage. Now we are moving Moving on to using the hair steamer. Hair steam is actually great for the hair as well. It increases blood flow to the scalp. It opens your hair cuticles, allowing the products to deeply penetrate the hair. It increases moisture retention. It enhances the curl pattern of the hair. It also improves the manageability of the hair and it fortifies the hair strands. So steaming the hair is really, really great. If you don't have a hair steamer, you can just go ahead and put on your shower cap or your plastic the bag whatever you have and just allow it to stay there for at least 20 to 25 minutes after that you can go ahead and rinse out the oil all right you don't have to use shampoo to rinse out the oil please don't forget to like this video especially if you do don't forget to like it okay don't forget to comment and share this video to a family member a friend a co-worker or somebody in your community if you want to join this family it is absolutely free just go ahead and smash that subscribe button to become a member of this family so now after 20 minutes we are now going to rinse out the oil using just water one thing I forgot to mention, family, as you can see, if you look closely in the shower cap, you will see a lot of oil left in there. I just want to say, if you are going to be doing a hot oil treatment, please make sure to wear something that you don't really care about because it can get really messy. And make sure to put like a towel or a rag on your rug. That way you don't stain your rug. Or if you do have like a wood floor, you don't get it too messy, okay? So we are done rinsing out the oil. I'm going to be styling the hair and yeah that's how i did the hot oil treatment that is her hair after steamy and after the hot oil treatment so i'm just going to style it and here you have it <laughs> i style her hair she has really thick and full hair so family thank you all for stopping by today i really appreciate you guys please don't forget to like comment and share see you guys in the next one be blessed love you guys bye